Hvis du snur ryggen til det rosa rådhuset, kan du tro at du er på et marked langt ned i Sør-Europa. Det bugner av parmaskinka, pasta, paella, oliven og søtsaker av en annen verden. Hvis du tror det sultet deg var bringebær, jordbær og aprikos, så tar du feil. For nå har jeg stoppt her på Best of Britain. Det ser ut som de har hundrevis av typer av sultet deg. How many types of jam do you have? We have about 70 different types of curd, jam, marmalades, chutneys, all homemade on our farm in England. Excuse me, did you say 70? Yes. <laughs> and we're thinking of new ones all the time. So actually you have almost 100? Yes, probably yes. We haven't counted recently. <laughs> What's the most special one? Um, something that I think everybody in Norway should try is the curd, because you don't have it here. So what's a curd? It's sugar, egg, butter and fruit. We don't even have a name for it. <laughs> it will, you should call it yum yum because it's so nice. <laughs> uh, you have the traditional ones which is the lemon. But then we move on to some special flavours like passion fruit, mango, lemon and baileys. Naughty but nice. <laughs> and you have cheese? Yes. We have a, a vintage reserve which is the old traditional one. We have flavours. Uh, like smoked, we have a whiskey cheddar which is fantastic and we also have the scorcher which we are proud to say is the strongest cheese in the world. Uh, okay, it looks a little um, dangerous. <laughs> it's not so dangerous, it's just nice. Would you like to try a little? Okay, I'll try. i give you a little bit of this. You say it's chilies, jalapenos and dynamite. <laughs> I know what you mean. <laughs> Et godt måltid mat bygger bånd mellom mennesker. Men mat kan også vise hvor forskjellige med mennesker er. Som oss nordmenn for eksempel. Kremmerne på matmarkedet merker godt på porsjonene at nå er de kommet til Norge. Uh, I think they, they really like to eat uh, lots of meat. And, uh, and big portions as well. Um, here, here we always sell to, to families large amounts of uh, chicken and things like that. Is it uh, obvious that we are uh, related to the Vikings? <laughs> yeah, it's quite funny. Um, for example, with the, with the meats, uh, we, do, we do our chicken with the bones and things like that, and they, they're not scared. You know, we just, we just fill, the, fill the plate and they, uh, they, they eat. Any, anything we give them with the meat, they, they swallow it. And we don't mind the bones? No, 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 no. In, in other countries people are, you know, they're looking around and things like that. But here, here they're, they're used to having, having the plate served and, and, and eating everything. I am impressed. How do you do it? In the first two weeks it's very uh, difficult, but now it's easy. If you try, first then is go to rubbish, but next it's very good. Detta är vardagslycka. Ja, det var väldigt gott med att finna krepp i lunchen i dag. Det var gøy. Ja, for nå snakker vi ikke vanlige pannekaker. Nei, dette er franske krepp, som, som jeg prøvde tidligere når jeg var på utveksling. Ja, jeg, jeg hører rykter om at du er god på fransk mat. Det er jeg ikke. <laughs> gode smaker. Er gode. <laughs> ja, gode smaker. <laughs> Markedet har vært innom en rekke europeiske land, men har nå konsentrert sig om Norge. Her finner de folk som vil vite litt mer om hva de har på tallerkenen, og som er villige til å betale for det. Why have you concentrated on Norway? So far we are concentrating in Norway since three years because Norwegian customers are really good customers. They've got that knowledge of the food. So it's been a pleasure for all the traders to come back every time in Norway. Because people like what we're doing, what we are selling. So it's, it's nice to be back in Norway every time. Some customers uh, are a little surprised uh, by the prices. Price of some cheese would be or some produce would be a bit quite high compared to the supermarket price, but I, higher, which means it would be like 30, 40 kroner higher than a supermarket. But at the end, if you take everything that you're coming into a market, you get a nice days. You're doing shopping out. You're buying to a small company, not a big supermarket company. So that would make the world difference, and you're sure to find the good quality as well. So sometimes. It can be better to be on the market than inside the supermarket.
Riksdagen ska brukas till Mm, kan du köpa för något? Jag har köpt oliven med mandlar Och så har jag köpt dessa här som de kallar för peppar med feta ost Och så det du ser Och så har jag då köpt detta lilla rede Det är er sån rede med sån lagt av, jag kallar det för turkiska tråar En slags kaka med hasselnöt uppi Ja. Ser kjempegodt ut. Kan jeg si i lommeboka? <laughs> ja, det var jo det da. Det er jo det som er så synd. Forferdelig dyrt. Så jeg skulle gjerne ha kjøpt et sånt, et par sånne beger. Og... Denne var det bare 20 kroner, men den har jo til, til gjengjeld nok kalorier. Men jeg tror jeg betalte 160 kroner for dette. Og det, de sa noe om avgifter, og jeg forstod ikke helt akkurat hva han sa. Men... Uh... Det er synd det skal være så dyrt. Oster og det er herlige. Jeg har kjøpt et herlig sultetøy også. Sånn, ja, sånn som du ikke får andre plasser. Det er jo liksom det. Derfor jeg kommer jeg hvert år med en gang de åpner. <laughs> og nå er det hjemme å ha fest i hjemmen. Jeg tror dette skal være middagen min i dag. <laughs> Spiser det opp for morgenen, kommer hjem. <laughs>